All right, falafel review. We're at Pitopia within the Kosher and Midtown storefront on 34th Street between Park Avenue and Madison Avenue. Uh, there's a yeshiva campus a few blocks away with, I think, a dorm here. All right, we're at Horace Greeley Park on the intersection of 6th Avenue, Broadway, between 32nd Street and 33rd Street. It's named after Horace Greeley, whose statue you see there. He was the founder of the New York Tribune, a very popular newspaper in New York in the middle 19th century, and even ran for president once. Mr. Greeley grew up in Massachusetts to a poor family. He apprenticed as a typesetter, and like most young people throughout history, moved to New York City to make a name for himself. He wrote about politics, and got involved with the Whig Party, getting involved with the candidacy of William Henry Harrison and helping him secure the White House in 1840. He founded the New York Tribune one year later, and it soon entered wide circulation throughout the country. Uh, in the lead up to the Civil War, like most New Yorkers, Mr. Greeley opposed slavery and backed the Union effort. In 1854, he helped found the Republican Party, which would ultimately help Rep Republican candidate Abraham Lincoln control the White House and spearhead the Union war effort. Uh, after Lincoln's assassination, there was a rift in the Republican Party. There was the so-called radical Republicans who favored the reconstruction efforts under Ulysses Grant's presidency. Mr. Greeley found himself on the opposite. He was a member of the liberal Republicans who felt like re reconstruction was no longer needed and he ultimately ran against Grant for president and lost and he returned back to the publisher of the Tribune only to learn there was a plot afoot to unseat him as the publisher this severely deteriorated his mental health and he checked himself into an asylum Mr. Greeley unfortunately passed away shortly thereafter and he passed away before the electoral votes were finalized being counted All right, so this is Pitopia let's see how it is Here's the first view. Looks all right. You can see some pickles over there, some tahini, some cucumbers. One bite in. It's tasty. Falafel's tasty. Toppings are good. It does look maybe potentially unbalanced, so we'll see. A few more bites. This is proper. Falafel's tasty, fried. Pickles are good. You know, kosher place. Uh, Israeli salad. Pita's fresh. It's good. Four bites there is a slight distribution problem all the toppings are kind of clustered in the middle all right final bite final verdict it's good it's tasty uh toppings aren't the best distributed but the flavors are good um uh, for 10 bucks this is 7.9